Did you know that you can take patterns you drafted or traced in Illustrator and use them in Clothe 3D? Yep, real talk. Today's video is a little preview of one of the lessons we cover in my new Clothe 3D beginner course, and one that I'm excited for because I get to combine one of my favorite digital design programs with one of the best pieces of software for 3D fashion design. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mikkel Drew Pelham and today I want to show you how simple it can be to use a vector based pattern, bring it into Clo, sew it up and drape it on an avatar. I was pretty excited to learn about this because I'd been asking for a while if I can somehow incorporate Illustrator more other than just creating graphics and prints for Clo. So this is really exciting to me and I hope you're as happy about this as I am. So here's what you do. The first thing you'd want to do is bring up your avatar and then bring in the pattern by going to file import add because we're adding this to an existing document adobe then find your file before it gets added to the workspaces a box appears keep the load type on add the scale at auto scale just make sure your illustrator pattern is at full scale the rotation on do not rotate and for the internal shape section, choose import as baselines. Once you hit okay, your pattern is imported into the program. This pattern has a front and back, a hood and a sleeve. Of course, we need two sides of the hood and two sleeves. So I'm going to create symmetrical duplicates. Starting with the hood, I'm going to right mouse click and create a symmetrical pattern with sewing. Do the same for the sleeve. And for the sleeve, before I duplicate, I'm going to use the notch tool and add notches so that it can, I can easily tell the front sleeve from the back sleeve, which will come in really handy when I'm ready to sew. I'm going to move the patterns off to the side in the 3D window. Turn on my arrangement points and arrange the patterns on my avatar. Once they're arranged, I'm gonna sew. And I'm using a combination of segment sewing, free sewing, and what's called MN sewing, which is used if you're sewing one seam to multiple seams, like how the neckline of the hood gets sewn to the front and back neckline of the garment. I'm going to slow this back down a bit when I get to the sleeves. It can get a little confusing trying to figure out what goes to what. So not only do I select the sleeve and check the 3D window to figure out which sleeve it is, but I'm also keeping an eye on the notches to make sure I'm sewing the front sleeve to the front armhole and the back sleeve to the back armhole.
Last things are the undersleeves and then simulate. Not bad. It's a little high on her neck and I actually don't think it's the neck drop. I don't think the pattern was wide enough for her chest and so it's not falling relaxed like a hoodie normally would. Also, her bun is coming through the hood. So I'm just going to take it off her head and let it fall to her shoulders. And to do this, make sure you've pressed the space bar or hit the simulation arrow so that the four sided arrow in the 3D tools turns into a hand. And with the hand, grab the back of the hood and pull it off her head and down onto her shoulders. So definitely some fit issues, but I have a pattern that I can make some tweaks to to get it to fit properly versus having to start completely from scratch. I'll take the tweaks. I didn't get into how to create the pattern in Illustrator and you might be saying, this is all great, but I have no idea how to make patterns. Well, you don't necessarily have to make a pattern from scratch in Illustrator. One of the things I stress in a Clo class is starting with a template whenever you can. And so I have two suggestions if you don't know how or just don't have the time to make your own Illustrator pattern. The first is you can scan a pattern you purchase and trace it. There's also sites if you search for them that have free PDF patterns, which you can then open in Illustrator and trace. Now, don't expect anything overly elaborate unless you're scanning and tracing a pattern you've bought. The free pattern sites usually have more basic items, but it's a way for you to get started working in Clo, and it'll also allow you to use your Illustrator skills to complete one part of the process that could be a little daunting for new 3D fashion software users. Thanks for watching today's video. Check out the link in the description to learn more about my beginner Clo course. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you find it helpful. Have a fantastic week. I'll see you next time.